Okay, so what I want to quickly do is to give you a run through of the new updates to Filmora 12. If you're new here and you don't know about Filmora, well, there is a new version of Filmora and I was able to get early access to it. And let me show you some of the updates that you would enjoy with Filmora. All right, so first and first that I'd like to point out is the fact that with this Filmora 12, there are a couple of things that you can now do that you could not do before. First off, is the fact that keyframing before on Fil in Filmora used to be very, very limited. Now you have you have the free will of doing anything. All parameters are now activated. Secondly, mask used to be preset Filmora created. Now you can create your own mask. So you can draw custom shapes. You can draw custom uh, masks that you want. Third is the fact that there is now adjustment layer. What adjustment layer means is if you want to edit a video and you've cut down all your clips, then you now remember to do maybe something like color correction or you want to add an effect, you can use adjustment layer to simply add that and it cuts across all of your entire clips. Next thing that I would also like to point your attention to is AI audio denoise. What that means is by turning on AI audio denoise, if there's a lot of background sound going on between when you were recording your video with AI audio denoise, you can actually turn that off. And that is going to be a great feature for people who do their recordings in very noisy places. All right, with that said, let's jump into the video. I'm going to simply make this into my full screen. So right now, let me go ahead and open up a video. So I'm going to go ahead and edit a video as a way to get started. So I'm going to click on new project and now I'm going to bring it on my screen here. Now let me make it full page so that it's visible. Now first thing that I want to pay attention to is if you look at file edit uh, over here, you see that there's a way for you to change your layout. What that means is if I choose default, this is default and this is how Filmora looks right now. If I choose, I click organize, what that means is you can now rearrange your view. If I choose timeline, timeline, this is timeline view. If I choose short video, this is short video view. So it allows you to preview your short video. And that is a major challenge I used to have when I'm creating Instagram reels or creating YouTube shots. And so this is the classic. Normally this is where you see your video if you are editing something like that. So it used to be very challenging. Now, if I have dual, what dual means is I can have two screens like this. So you can have this as a separate screen and you can have that as a, you can have this as well as a separate screen. Now I'm going to turn that off so that it doesn't create a problem for me. All right. With that, now let me go ahead and add my clips that I'm going to be editing while you watch this right now. So now that I have my two files, if you click on this video here, you can see that it's playing right by the side of your screen here. You see that with its short video format, you can see that I can see everything I need to see clearly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my first video to my timeline. I'm going to add my second video to my timeline. Now you can see it says smart color. What that means is with Filmora now, you can remove the background of your videos. Isn't that cool? Let me try that with my video here. So how do you do smart cut out? Here you have quick split. You have crop, you have text, you have speed, you have color match, you have AI matting tool. This is where AI matting tool is now placed. So rather than just the green screen that we used to have before, now you can choose smart cutout. So if I choose smart cutout, I can now take out my background. So now I want to add, now I want to remove my own background and have myself just as the object of the video. So I'm going to let it retain my mic. Taking that off, now I'm going to add that back in. So I'm going to click on save. Oh, you can see. So you see here, this is the video. Now, if I want to put a background behind that, so let's say I want to put a background behind that. So here, I'm going to type background. Actually, rather than put a background like that, let me bring in my own background into my video. So now, in order for me to bring that, let me move this up a clip. And then let me bring this background you can see that now, right? So that's first of all for that background. If that is done inside. Oh, okay. So this is the AI portrait. Okay. So now you can see, looks like I didn't get it correctly before. So this edge thickness, let's increase the edge thickness and then let me make it further a little bit. All right. So you can see this is even, that's basically how to use that smart 
cut out. So for me, based on some of the things that I just checked out in Filmora right now, I actually think there's a lot of potential with Filmora, especially if you combine it with Canva. And by the way, that is my own recommendation. That's what I've been doing. I combine Filmora and Canva together. So I create a couple of elements in Canva and then bring them over to Filmora to utilize them. Anyway, I hope that this video was helpful to you. I know this was me quickly running through this new software that I just installed. Like, I just installed it less than one hour ago. And this was my first interaction with Filmora 12. And right now, just as I said at the beginning, it's still in better mode. <laughs> that said i want to say thank you very much for watching this video and again next time communicate to understand rather than to judge i'm dia samuel and this is audacity to lead i'll see you in another video